Okay, so uh, you want to know a little bit more about Psych and Prog, I guess, maybe expand your book collection and your knowledge about the topic. Well, I think you've come to the right place. Um, I'm going to show you 10 books that I have in my book collection that I think that every Psych and Prog nerd needs to have in their collection. If you're not a subscriber, you know what to do. And here we go. So I want to start off by saying that if you have book recommendations of books that I don't show, please write them down in the comments so we all can, can uh, take part in each other's recommendations. And I want to put, put out that this video is not about specific psych and prog artists or groups. So please keep the books and the topics uh, general about psych and prog. So uh, not about Genesis or more of like English 70s rock music, if you know what I mean. The first book, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna recommend in order with this first one, the order you should get them in. And this is, I mean, if you don't have this, save up because it's pretty, pretty expensive, but save up uh, or sell records or whatever and get this book. And you need this book in your life. This is the Holy Bible of psychedelic 70s, 60s rock, progressive uh, UK music. If there ever was one, this is Galactic Ramble. This is the second edition. Uh, edited and it's the creation of this monster creation of Richard Morton Jack. It's it's heavy as shit both in <laughs> weight and what's in it. So let's dive a little bit into this book. As you can see on the front I love that they didn't take more commercial stuff and put in the in the front. This is the obscure stuff. This is for collectors. This is for us super nerds, these records on the front is what we look for and wish we we had. If we go into it a little bit, you can see it's in in alphabetical order. It's in black and white uh, photos. Yeah, just to give you a, an example, you see the the title of the band and the release, and then you have the the first pressing. Off often they they write down the, the first pressing, but then what's unique with this one is that they edited it this so you get the reviews back from back in the day this is the original reviews of the the records how obscure it gets it's the reviews if there were any uh, back in the day and it always <clears throat> ends with some of the authors um, notes and some of the authors is Patrick Lundborg uh, Simon Crisp Richard Falk uh, Harvey Williams, David Wells, and so forth and so forth. One million words, I think that they <laughs> said that this included, and it's the fullest ever study of the 60s and 70s UK music scene. In the middle you get some highlights of records, just the covers and the title underneath in fantastic colored pictures. Check the date, but today it's still available. Get it now. You need it. It's the, it's the Holy Bible. Anything else is just, nah, this is the one to get. Okay, so this next one is also a, a fantastic and you should get this, but I think you can, you can only, today you can only get this in the used market, but there is copies out there. Maybe there's a print on demand on amazon.com. I'm not sure. Go out on their uh, page, just Google this mother and you will find find it. The book I'm talking about is this. This is the Acid Archives, in my case the second edition by Patrick Lundborg. Unfortunately uh, Patrick uh, Lundborg isn't with us um, anymore. He died, passed away sadly and the torch is, is shipped on to uh, I think Subliminal Sounds in Sweden. And what this is, let's dive into this. This is, if you can see the, the, the front the front page is very psychedelic, just like the book. Uh, mine's the second edition, as I said. A Guide to Underground Sounds, 1965 to 1982, edited by Patrick Lundborg. But it's the 
the the mind and and the madness of of uh, Patrick. Uh, you get a, a short uh, introduction to what uh, acid kind of record is the history and what the acid archives is trying to do and then we go into the to the records and uh, as you can see it's in alphabetical order on the artist and you have the year it was released and i think the record number so you can check it out on discogs for example and then you have the reviewers review underneath and yeah you also get the rarity in form of in the form of a uh, uh, number one to to five how rare it is uh, or was back in the day may some some stuff is maybe rarer today or less rare in this the second edition you get colored covers uh, of the records you didn't get that in the the first edition and this has also been expanded i think the second one for all record nerds out there and for psychedelic music this is a a must have like a really a must have and the next one number three is not a book but two books uh, this is the tapestry of the lights expanded two volume edition i think this is still sort of in print so you can get this uh, the ultimate guide to uk rock and pop of uh, of the beat r&b psychedelic and progressive eras 1963 to 76 volume one and i think that they sell this in both volumes so <laughs> you get like a, a package with a brick inside it or something like that it's heavy as shit so let's dive into this uh, the author in this case is vernon joinson and he has written a lot of great books this is the only one i have uh, of his i wish i i had more this is a little bit like uh, the galactic ramble the only other Thing, if you compare it to Galactic Ramble is that this has or it tried at least to have the entire discography of, of the releases all the pressings and stuff like that which also is my critique to this book we don't need that and that will date the book but never mind uh, you have the personnel and you have a short review from the I think the author maybe some uh, other authors also but but you have a review of the of, of the record and in my opinion this is these two books here we go these two books are perfect companion pieces to the galactic ramble because this is more personal than the galactic ramble in one case because galactic ramble you get the reviews back in the day plus a short review of the record this is a little bit more in depth when it comes to the music uh, still short but a little bit more in depth they could easily get this down to these two books to one third because all the pressings it's not they don't need to to uh, to have that in in there i don't think so anyway I, I in my humble opinion like in my humble opinion in third place this is a great book great old books get it okay the next one is i've read some debates online some people love this series some people don't get it i love this series i have them all i think there are eight books by now uh, and this is the Record Collector Dreams by Hans Pokora. I think that's how you pr pronounce it. He's, I think it's Dutch. I actually emailed him about... I had everyone, uh, every book except the sixth book, I think. And I managed to get a hold of him and he sent me the sixth book. So that was awesome. This is Folk, Psychedelic and Progressive Garage Beat and Rock. And let's dive into this a little bit. As you can see, uh, you have a small introduction and some some uh, uh, some some notes on how to use this book. But what it is, it's like fantastic photos and tips of different records in this genre with a sort of value guide. But you have to take that value guide with a pinch of salt because these books has some years behind them now so some are not as rare but some are even rarer this first book that i show you now is is you start in the united kingdom but then you go to austria germany norway iceland east europe usa and and canada argentina colombia and so forth it's it's like the perfect sort of coffee table book you can have this just laying around i use this as a reference guide i pick one of the books up i sit down with my phone and 
if I, I look at the pictures and just drool if there's something that I don't recognize I, and, and that sparks my interest I just go and google it and or youtube it and see if I can find a snippet or two of it if it's great I add it to my want list on Discogs that's how I, I, I use this uh, book and I read more about it maybe in the Galactic Ramble or something like that great coffee table books not much information you have to dig for yourself but it's a vast vast sort of list of great great music and records from all over the world great series the next one is actually a Swedish book and I'm gonna I'm, I mean I'm I'm Swedish I'm gonna recommend this I love this book and it's in English so don't be afraid it's out of print now so it's hard to get you can get it on the second hand market but if you're into Swedish psych and prog at all this this is the this is the the Bible and this is the progressive music 1967 to 79 the encyclopedia of Swedish progressive music. As you can see it's it's in color you have a nice forward and and uh, a little bit of about the movement of Swedish progressive music before we get into the records or and the artists and here we have I mean you have everything from super super known Swedish artists to super obscure so you get in uh, alphabetical order the artists a little bit about the artist and the records and then you get some sort of rarity scale from 1 to 10 great great book for fans of Swedish progressive music the next one is from the same crazy mind of the galactic ramble and it's psychedelia 101 iconic underground rock albums 1966 to 1970 and this is everything that sort of lacks in the galactic ramble because what you get here is stunning stunning beautiful uh, colored pictures of uh, big colored pictures of let's dive into this okay so here we go so as i as i said big colored pictures of the of the uh, artists and the records and stuff like that you get a, a short introduction of psychedelic music and then we go and um, this is not in alphabetical order this is in chronological order which i love so you have uh, a bunch of artists like uh, pat kilroy blues magoos and then we get into the Free Spirits, Country on the Fish, Moby Grape and so, so forth, all the way to 1970 uh, with Bobak Jones and Malone and Pretty Things and so forth. And, and the texts, the texts in this, the sort of reviews and the, it's magnificent, like really, really well written. So thanks a bunch, Richard Morton Jack, <laughs> uh, for this book. And this is... Today is still in print, you can get this, and it's not super expensive. I recommend everyone who likes psychedelic music to pick this up. <clears throat> okay, so um, I say okay a lot. Next book is Times and Sound. I recommend this also. This is uh, The German Journey from Jazz to Pop to Krautrock and Beyond. So, uh, sort of history uh, of German Krautrock in this takes off just when the second world war ends i think so you get why and how this sort of movement uh, of kraut came up this is a splendid book it's 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 highly entertaining very inform uh, informative uh, pretty easy to read and you get uh, information about artists that you thought you knew that you had no idea that you know great book time and sounds still in print the next one i've had this for a while and i have to say it's been a while since i i um, went through it but it's a book that i go back to and see if i can find sort of like artists and records that i listen to right now or read about and stuff like that just to see what this crazy person has written of them if he has written anything this is compendium as you can see it's it's very shiny Ooh, uh, by Julian Cope or Cope Cope Julian Cope an expedition into the rock and roll underworld and that's just what it is very thin uh, so it's like 700 pages or something like that no pictures at all it's just almost like a blog I don't know what to compare it to it's like uh, yeah it's like reading thoughts of a mental person that likes music 
<laughs> and has no sort of way to sort his thoughts. Uh, it's it's brilliant. It's great, and it's it's terrible at the same time. Uh, the book is in this sort of snake skin uh, material with silver lettings, embossed silver lettings. It's it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. And you have it in, in chronological order. He starts off in the 50s and he goes to through 60s, 70s, so forth. So you have Randy Holden, Population 2, written in this book way before it was hyped. Uh, you have Nico, Early Soft Machine, Electric Miles, German Oak, Harry Chapter, uh, Bebop Deluxe. So <laughs> a book about Harry Chapter and Bebop Deluxe. It's, it's too... Yeah, but so that's that's the that's that book. I have to say, and I have to be honest, these two books I haven't re uh, read them uh, all the way through. So maybe I'm. But but what I have read in them is uh, really really good. Beyond and Before by Paul Haggerty and Martin Halliwell, and this is progressive rock since the 1960s. It's a uh, written sort of very well written, but that's also the problem with it, me as a Swede reading this, it's almost like reading a textbook or something like that. It's not easy to read, let's just say that. But it takes you through all the, the way from the 60s to um, today, the noughties, 90s and noughties. talks about uh, stuff like uh, King Crimson, obviously, but all the way through to, to Mars uh, Volta. If you want a very well-written sort of history of progressive music, uh, I think that this could be uh, up your up your alley. And the last one, also one that I've just, I've read some chapters in this, and what I've read is super good, but I have to dive a little bit more into this sort of movement, and, or genre, or whatever you want to say. This is the, the Turkish Psychedelic Music Exploration, 1965 to 1980. So when I got the, the, the Zelda record, I went down and, and got this uh, uh, book and read the chapter about Zelda. So I'm gonna use it like that, but I still have a lot of Turkish music to, to find. But I think that the, the biggest sort of psychedelic Turkish um, artists are in, in this book. So it's gonna be neat. But it's, that's it. That's 10 books that I recommend all of you psychedelic and prog fans to, uh, to get your hands on. And as I said in the beginning of the, the video, please subscribe if you haven't. Write down suggestions in the comments field. Which books do you think that I missed uh, showing? And now we talk about general books. So no artists, specific artists or uh, groups. And yeah, talk to you in my next video. Bye.